also looking pretty good at this point along 501. I'm seeing traffic picking up just a little bit, 501 at Singleton Ridge and Waccamaw Pines, but no major delays. But I'll keep you updated, and I'll be back here coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Brittany. We use them to get around, stay in touch with friends, and capture important moments in our lives. But our smartphones and tablets know more about us than you might think. Yeah, and the information those smartphones are storing could put you and your family in danger. Raycom News Network reporter Ursula Madden has more on the threat. Yeah, that's a little bit freaky. It's hidden deep within the megabytes of your menu, in your iPhone or your Android, even your iPad. It's my home address in there, like, you know, places that I frequent, like my child's school that I don't disclose. Like, that's kind of scary. A history of every place you have been, how often you've been there, when you were there, and for how long. I think most people really don't understand that, and I think if most people did understand that, they would be uncomfortable with it. According to Apple, the feature helps your device and third-party apps, like any maps you might use on your phone. But many people have no idea their phone tracks their every move. Oh, yeah. That was their Friday night. Yeah, that's, um, it is definitely disturbing. Once your phone has this information, what can be done with it? This information about who you are, where you go, what locations you frequent, those are being sold to advertising firms, large corporations, any number of different companies that might be interested in and your personal data. We've already seen several recent high profile hackings of major retailers data. Experts say your cell phone data is extremely vulnerable. So imagine if hackers got their hands on your frequent locations. If they could harm you personally, if they can track your whereabouts and somebody wants to do you harm, they can stake out your place of business or your grocery store, wherever you might frequent. And even if hackers don't access your info, if you have a company phone, and take a long lunch or even call in sick but head to the driving range instead. If that's a company issued device, it would be very easy to access that information. So if it's information you don't want others to know, a swipe of your finger can keep others from having a finger on your every move. So Millions in cash up for grabs here in South Carolina. Some of it could be yours. We'll tell you where to pick up your check next. New details now as thousands of people across our area are still without power this morning. The number is actually continuing to increase. So let's take a look at the map. This is from Duke Energy. It's a map of the entire area, not just a neighborhood or two. The outage is pretty far reaching. Hartsville has more than 50 outages affecting almost a thousand people. Duke Energy says that outage should be cleared up by 11 tonight. It's more than 50 outages in Bennettsville. That too expected to be fixed by 11 tonight, affecting more than 1,400 homes. 472 customers are without power in Laurenburg this morning. Those lights should be turned back on by 10 this morning. And almost 4,000 of our friends in Lumberton are without power this morning. That should also be back on by 11 tonight. If these estimates change, I will let you know. I'm staying on top of it for you at the live desk. Theo? All right. Thank you. I'll take it there, Mandy. Happening today, it's your chance to find out if there's money out there that belongs to you. It's unclaimed property day here in South Carolina. Some examples of unclaimed property include utility deposits and uncashed checks. We have a link to the state treasury's website to see if you're owed any money from the state on WMBFnews.com. It's right there on this story under the local tab. New this morning, the U.S. will start selling armed drones to foreign countries. The U.S. State Department announced announcement says sales will only happen on rare occasions to friendly nations. Countries who want to buy drones must agree to use them legally and they cannot do illegal surveillance on their citizens. They must also provide training to operators. The U.S. has faced criticism for its deadly use of military drones in the past. New details. Police now say a mother and son looked for the man who ended up fatally shooting her last week. Tammy Myers was teaching her daughter how to drive when she got into an argument. After getting back home, Meyer's son grabbed a gun and the pair drove around to find the suspect in Las Vegas. Myers was shot after getting back home and later died at a local hospital. The shooter is still on the loose this morning. Uh, this just in, Scotland County Schools are on a two-hour delay today. We want to make sure you're aware of that, all the result of these outages and these freezing temperatures that we've been talking about here. Well, burglaries, car break-ins, and prostitution, all problems in one of our local areas, the way they were able to cut those crimes down. You'll soon be putting away those digital devices for a new view of Myrtle Beach. The challenge course headed to the Grand Strand, coming up at 6.